This math knowledge practice test question for the ASVAB and PyKit says, if the circle is inscribed by a square that has a side length of six units, what is the area of the shaded region? Use 3.14 for pi. So to find the area of the shaded region, uh, we're gonna find the area of the square, of course, which is gonna be S squared, that is its side length squared, minus the area of the circle, which is pi R squared. Again, since you're not permitted to use a calculator or a reference sheet on the ASVAB or PyCat, you do have to commit both of these formulas to memory. Now, according to the problem, we know the side length of this square is six units. So S, in other words, is six. Let's go ahead and plug that in. This becomes six squared minus pi. What is the radius of this circle? Well, we know that the diameter, which is the distance from edge to edge of the circle and through the center point is six its radius is going to be half of that. So this is the radius. And of course, the diameter is always twice as long as the radius. We know the diameter, that is the distance from here to here, is 6. So this becomes 6 equals to r. To solve for r, we could divide both sides by 2. This crosses out, leaving you with r over here. 6 divided by 2 is 3. So we know the radius of our circle is 3. So let's go ahead and plug that in. This becomes uh, 3 squared. 6 squared is 36 minus, we're told to let pi be 3.14, so this is 3.14, and 3 squared is 3 times 3, r9. So let's go ahead and work out the rest of this. We have 3.14 times 9. To do this math, we have to move this decimal in 3.14 two times to the right to make it 314 times 9, albeit with two decimals to move back into our answer. 9 times 4 is 36, so bring down a 6, carry a 3. 9 times 1 is 9, 10, 11, 12, bring down a 2, carry a 1. 9 times 3 is 27, plus 1 is 28, bring in our two decimals, 1, 2. This becomes 36 minus 28, 26. And so as not to make a mistake, I'm going to do this math off to the side as well. Again, we have 36 minus uh, 28. 26. Let's go ahead and work this out. We can't do 0 minus 6. We're going to have to come all the way over here and borrow. This becomes 5. This becomes 10. This becomes 9. This becomes 10. 10 minus 6 is 4. 9 minus 2 is 7. Drop down our decimal. 5 minus 8 we can't do, so this is going to become 2. This will become 15. 15 minus 8 is going to be 7, and 2 minus 2 is nothing. So we can see that the area of the shaded region is going to be 7.74 units squared, which is answer choice C, of course.